go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? Hmm. No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No. No, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. No, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't, you don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. Hmm. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. 
I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have- I'm just a little girl. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? find help somewhere else if I can. I understand you're scared, and I feel terrible delaying treatment, but we've got to be sure. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with... please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. 
fine. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. He's got to have stuff for stitches. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? You left me in the shed. Because you got bit. Will you please help me? I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I'm sorry I bothered you. You should be. I don't have anyone who will help me. Come on now, don't get upset, don't get like that. I'm serious, you need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing, you wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way, Rebecca's all emotional. I got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. It would be bad if she knew you were talking to me. Damn right it would be. I don't want to have to tell her. 
motherfucker. Hey, language. You little... Getting yourself up in my business. I just need help. And you don't need any trouble. Do it, or I'll tell her. You're a real piece of work. I don't have any choice. Fine. You treat people like this, you ain't gonna have anyone. If you live. What else could I do? Leave me the hell alone. I'll do what I can, but I'm not promising anything. The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. I think it's getting worse. Maybe made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this.